You're live. Okay, you're live. Hmm? Yes. Nope, it just says live. No, there's one. Two. No names. Jocelyn Duran said hi. Hi, Jocelyn. I don't know if you guys can hear me. The camera is a little far away. So. You guys will have to let me know if you can hear me. And luckily the AC just turned off, so that might help a little bit. Lisa Zanussi said hi. Hi, Miss Lisa. We're doing Twilight Shopping. 7.30. Could I have my drink? It's over on the counter. And my husband's helping me, Ryan. He is helping me tonight. Um, we are doing collections. Uh, if you don't know me, I am Kelly. I run Your Other Closet, and I work with three other amazing women, Melissa, Ann Claring, and Anne. And tonight, we're doing Twilight Shopping on Facebook, and it will be posted on our YouTube channel. So I hope you have a drink of choice. We did Sonic, I got a slushie. Elena is watching. Hi, Miss Elena. And, uh, Tammy is too. Hi, Tammy. Tammy, mom wants you to send the video to her. Elena says hello. Mm. I haven't done that yet. So it is June 29th. It is Anne's birthday. We all say happy birthday to Anne. Happy birthday, Anne. And we'll start off our Twilight Shop. Elena said louder, please. It's hard to hear you, Elena. Hello, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the camera is turned around, I think. I don't know. We yep. have to figure this out. Hello. Anyway. I will try my best to project my voice. Um, tonight we're going to do collections. It is a little warm in this uh, shop and I am hoping that all of you are taking care of being outside. If you are outside at all this week, it's supposed to be pretty scorching right before 4th of July. It was hot, except for my husband and I are driving around my convertible, which makes me more hot, but I love my convertible. Um, we're doing collections, we're going to do some glassware, we're going to do some baskets, and then we have some great figurines we just got in. They haven't even been in the store yet. We are putting them online on our webpage, which is yourothercloset.com. You can shop 24-7 on the webpage. Um, Ann and I put tons of photos on every day trying to get us all caught up. So if there's anything in particular you're shopping for, let us know. We'll make sure we get those photos put on as fast as we can. And we'll get going. So. Hello! Yes, Kermit the Frog doing Julia Childs. Okay, so some of the glassware. We have oodles of glassware. We would very much like you to buy it. And I was thinking about this. Yes, it's been a pandemic, and yes, we can't always meet with people, but if you're having dinner or you do get to have a couple people at your house and you want to make it look festive, it's always great to try and do some of this. And the new stuff you can wash in the dishwasher. Um, some of the Waterford, I would not recommend that. But uh, we can get great deals. So we have this um, set, which is uh, sunflowers. And it is by Mikasa. And it is $20. It's really super cool. See, it's kind of frosted. But you could do three different veggies in there. You could do just beautiful flowers if you wanted to make a centerpiece. So that's a nice piece. Along those lines, we also have this one, which is by Mikasa. And it is... $15 and this one specifically has two that are separated so it is a divided dish and this one has different flowers in it but it's super pretty and it just look great um, we have along those lines we have another just nice shallow bowl that's frosted with flowers it's tulips and it's called it's a satin 12 inches across it's also by Mikasa and it's $18 great deal Mikasa is a beautiful glass company and then Another one by Mikasa. This is 25. It's also tulip satin um, design and it is 12 inches also, but it's about six inches deep. And this is a great one for, let's say, a fruit dish, um, a nice salad, something like that. It would just be super pretty on the table. So we have that's four pieces. I guarantee I have 25 more. We um, have them all over the shop. Great deal. Some are on um, sale because we're trying to make sure they move. And I keep collecting them because I don't know how to say no. So 
Okay, the next collection we have where we had an estate is um, baskets and they're nesting baskets. So you get a set of them. Um, we again just got these in so they haven't even been on the floor yet. This is a set of three. They each have double handles. So if you're not using them all at the same time, they store very nicely, but then you could use them for anything. I know my mom loves to use baskets in the bathroom for putting in hand towels, um, uh, small toiletries, things like that. But these are great. These are square, well woven, and it's a set of three, uh, 12, 10, and eight inches. Um, and they're $38 for the full set, but they have double handles, which is nice. And that's those. If you're not into needing handles or that much of um, structure, let's say you just want something for the table for dining, we have a nesting set. And there's two sets that are oval, if you look on our website. And these are on the website right now. So these are a lot um, tighter weave, so a little bit um, maybe more durable. And it's really pretty kind of lighter and greenish gray colors. And there's three of those. Christine so, says hello. Hi, Christine. That's Chris Reeves, right? Yep. Hi, Chris. So there's three of those. And that set is $32. But it's a, uh, they have handles on the outside. These are a little more woven open weave. They are oval as well. Um, these are vintage. So they are in great condition. Uh, they're not dried out. They're not cracked. So they're in really good condition. And these are uh, $18. We have one that came in. It's got a green tint to it. If you can't see, my light in here is a little bit off. But it's got a green tint and it has leather handles. And it is kind of more of a grass weave rather than the wicker. Um, and it is lined. So this would be great in the bathroom, maybe as a um, makeup caddy or something like that. Or you could put it in the kitchen, put magazines, things like that. This one is $12. Then we have the cutest, one, two, three, four. Yeah, these are nesting basket ducks. So there are five ducks. They are really super cute. They're little baskets. They do have carved wood beaks. There's five of them. Four of them are all just plain colors. They even have little eyeballs. But the fifth one is a two-tone and he sits inside the last one. So, five of these, they are vintage, and they are da, 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 $40 for the whole set. Okay, let's put these guys back together. So cute. It's for anyone who loves ducks. Anyone who loves ducks. Now, this is a different set that you might be interested in. It is hugely stronger. It has a wire metal frame. It starts off square, it ends up circular, it is super well woven and it's almost a braid, but they're more twisted. There's three of these all together. They would be very good in a kitchen, um, bathroom, but they stack really well, help to organize, and they're $42 for the whole set. Great shape. Okay, I'm dying here. It is hot in my shop at night. I could turn the AC on, but we're leaving in a few seconds. I hope you have a drink of choice. My husband does Diet Coke. I do a strawberry limeade slush. Who doesn't love Sonic? Okay. Billy says hi, kids. Oh, hey, Billy. Ryan says hi, too, from behind the camera. Um, okay, so this set is interesting. I don't take a lot of figurines, but these are collectibles. They're in pristine condition. A family, um, one of my former students, uh, she is uh, moved up this way and the family, um, unfortunately, an uncle passed away and they inherited them. So I have a whole set. I'm going to walk you through some of the different ones. Um, so we have bison and what it is, it's they're um, numbered and they are by um, uh, Mill Creek Studios. They're resin, but they are sculpted. Some are signed. Um, they all have different numbers. You'll find them. Some are retired, so the retired ones obviously go for a little more. Since we are not necessarily the spot for some of these things, we are not overpricing them. And uh, I'm going to walk you through these. They are not yet on my website. They'll be on the website by tomorrow. So this one is actually 
The only one that's not by Mill Creek is by a company called Amy and Addie. And um, it is a black and white buffalo. It's about eight inches tall. It's on stone. It's um, got a little plaque on it that says it's part of the Gray Rock Collection. And this one is $28. The other buffalo, which is this one, it's a Mill um, Creek Studios one. It's numbered, it's called Noble Heart. And it's supposed to be also as if it's carved out of rock, but it is a buffalo. And this one is 25. And then we have this other little guy. They call this a button. It's supposed to look like a shaving off of a tree stump. And they carved into it the Plains Buffalo. It is 18. And um, it says on the top, I believe the artist, which I can't read because I am blind. Anyway. It's a Plains Buffalo. Ryan's gonna try and read because he has better eyes. On the top. Nope, on the top. On the top. See how it's carved into the top? Oh, there we go. Eldonoski? Uh huh. And he can't read it either. Anyway. Donioski, okay, something. <laughs> but those are the bison that we have. So we have three of those. I'm gonna leave them right here. We have horses and one uh, mule deer. So the mule deer is called High Country. It's by an artist, and I'm going to tell you remember his name. Mm -hmm. Don't remember his name. Anyway. Um, Somebody said they wanted the green basket. Green basket. I'm happy to hold the green basket for whoever they said that. Anyway, this is a mule deer. It's about nine inches tall. It's $25. It will be on my website. It's very pretty. Somebody said, what is that noise? And it's the, the noise AC. is the AC, and you can't turn it off by going over that way. Oh. Anyway, we will talk over the hurricane that's over here. Mule deer. We have one of the painted ponies. It's the Trail of Painted Ponies. This one does come with the certificate of um, the artist on it. And this one is called High Desert Feather, because it has the feather painted on it, and the horses are painted onto the feathers. And this one is $58. We've had a couple of these in the past. And then the last horse we have, this is by um, Stephen Herrero. And um, it's a horse, it's called Runaway. I believe most of his are supposed to be like these huge ones, and then these are the miniatures done by Mill Creek Studios. And this one is $54. It's kind of cool. Looks like it's carved out of stone. Okay, those are the horses and the mule deer and the bison. Um, we have a set that are wolves, which would be great for UNM grad. So if you know anybody who's an alumni or a grad from UNM, or just very much likes wolves, these might be very good. This one is just plain Lobo. It's about six inches tall, Mill Creek Studios. It is all gray, so it is kind of the same color as the ones we have when we are Lobos. And um, it's $32. I still have the tags. I haven't even tags on this. This one's called Taps. Um, the how for us it's the howling at the moon kind of thing for the uh, wolf, but this one is called Taps, and it does look like it's really carved out of quartz, um, and it's about ten inches tall. And this one is seventy-eight dollars. It's the most expensive one we have. I think it was retired. <clears throat> This one is called Peaceful Play. It's a mother wolf and two cubs, or pups, and it's about seven inches tall, and um, it's $57. Margo joined. Who did? Margo. Twinkie? Mayor. Oh, Margo Mayor from Mexico. Holy cow, woman, how are you? So nice to hear from you. I follow you on Facebook. I can't believe that you're watching me on Facebook. Anyway, I don't even know what time it would be in Mexico right now. Okay, last one with the wolves is called, um, it's just a gray wolf button. It is numbered 15004. Again, it's supposed to look like a piece of the tree has been carved out. And this one is $21. So it's about four inches tall, four inches wide, about two inches deep. Alright, those are all the wolves and everything like that. Let's 
still getting hot in there. And we still have a tornado going on with my AC. All right, the last three are Steven Herrero. They are signed, I believe it's about 1994 is when these were done. There are three of them. These are each about eight, nine inches tall. Again, I think these are miniatures of some of the ones he's done that have been showcased in different places, like different monuments and museums. This one is called Medicine Woman, and it's just her bust, but it's supposed to also look like it's being carved out of stone at the same time. It's on the um, wooden base, and it does have the stamp from the studio. And that one's 28. This one is called Dog Soldier. It is a um, Native American with a rifle slung across his back. Um, again, it's one of these ones where I do believe there's a bigger one out there somewhere. It is stamped on the bottom. Okay. That one is $28 as well. And then the last one we have is um, it's called War Cry. There's a bigger one that I found on when I was researching these that is actually this much taller and it includes a, a shield that is ornate and follows kind of the same dressing as his headdress and his, uh, his uh, jacket. And so this one is called Warcry and it is $36. They're all very nice, but they're all about that uh, artist Stephen Carrera. Okay. Did I just zip through all that? Yep. I did, didn't I? You did. You didn't turn me off? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, all right, it is super hot in here. Okay, we do have a couple of requests from you. Um, we would very much like to have um, possibly some dressers and some small bookcases if you can bring them in. Um, also, if you have a bistro table, I can sell it seven times over. A bistro table is a little taller, maybe sits only two people, maybe possibly has high chairs with them or high stools with them, and it's maybe max 36 inches across kind of thing. Um, the reason is we have several people who are just re, um, remodeling or establishing a new apartment because they were stuck not being able to move for the last three months and now everybody's moving. So, bistro tables are huge hits. The uh, bookcases would be a great thing. Um, we also have people who are looking for um, occasional chairs. Uh, one for like say a bedroom, something like that. We just had a miraculous last week where last weekend we showcased a very lovely brown leather couch and overstuffed, no, yep, overstuffed chair and ottoman. We sold it two, one day later, we got it on Saturday night. We were closed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday morning at 10, we sold it. And on Thursday, they swapped out with something they brought from their home, which was a leather love seat, a leather overstuffed chair. And we sold that this Saturday. All of it went, so it's crazy. We also sold that 70s style teal colored couch as well. Um, so furniture is moving. If you have something that you're interested in selling, please give us a shout out. There are several things that we are looking for, um, such as, let's say, nightstands or side tables that have a drawer and storage or a drawer and shelf. Um, we are also just uh, hoping to move quite a bit of our clothing and our jewelry. If you shop online this coming weekend on Saturday and Sunday, you get 10% off your full um, purchase. So let's say you get bored and you want to go shopping on Saturday or Sunday, check out our website, which is yourothercloset.com, and when you go to check out, you get 10% off the whole kitten group. And someone said call in July 4 oh, and, and the 5th for the lottery. You're asking about our um, setup for reservations. So we do appointments for consignment. Appointment gives you uh, the ability to bring in 20 pieces at a time, so you can kind of purge a season or purge a set portion of your closet. Um, we take 20 items on the day of your appointment, anytime between the time we open and close, which is typically 10 to 6 now. It will start next week. So 
We open up July and August and September calendar this Saturday and Sunday. You do not stand in line. You don't have to come rushing in. You don't have to make sure you're here before we close. We are going to be closed for the holiday July 4th. So on that Saturday and Sunday, you casually call the shop. 355-5979. You are chill. You're sitting on your couch. You are relaxed. You leave your name. You leave your number. You say, hey, call me back. And let me know if I can get an appointment. We then literally do a lottery. We put everybody's name into a lovely little plastic jar. It's a gallon water jar. Shake it up, pull out numbers, and call people per number. When we call you, we offer you whatever availability we have, and you can pick the date on your account. We know life happens, so when your appointment comes up, if something were to happen and you just couldn't come in, you just give us a shout. And we can either reschedule you a couple of days before or after your appointment time. We just reserve that spot for you for processing. Um, so yes, if you would like an appointment, please do that. Also, when you think about your appointment, think seasonally. Because I know it's been crazy with three months of uh, um, uh, being closed. So we are going to be probably moving into fall in middle to beginning of August. That will be fall and September will also be fall. And if you use store credit, you get 10% more. That must be Melissa. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Melissa, you're on there prompting me, and Ryan's not reading your prompts. Anyway, <laughs> Melissa's hoping you all see that. So if you shop at the store, in store, not online, you get additional 10%. So um, it's really kind of nice. You can use that little bit of credit you've earned, buy something a little bit more, maybe cover tax. We have one more day of our thank you um, event, where tomorrow is June 30th. And if you come in and shop and you buy anything with valued of $25 or more, your whole purchase, we give you $5 off automatically and give you a coupon for July where it's $5 off it, also in July. Um, and we still have our punch cards. So when you fill up the punch cards, you save money too. Lots of different things. Um, we are, um, if you're interested in bringing artwork to us, you email Melissa a photo and the dimensions of the artwork you're interested in bringing in. She keeps a list of everybody who's interested in bringing in art, and she bases it on how much space we have, what the content of your art is, and um, where we can place it uh, when things sell. She'll reach out to you when you have the space, and she'll ask you to bring it in, and we'll save that space for you. I say that because we just sold four different uh, prints or paintings this last week as well. And so we did open up a little space, but she's now moving in those things that were being held in the queue and looking for anyone else who wants to be added to that wait list. Um, I think we have a couple of specials. We have two couches left in the shop and one love seat. They are all on sale. Did you say we're closed July 4th? I did say we're okay. closed July 4th. So two couches and a love seat, they're all on sale. We have a couple of um, mid-century modern chairs that are on sale. We have um, some tables. We still have that super cool round oak table that has a leaf that pops up. It's a drop leaf on the inside, so it expands. And it has four chairs that are upholstered and super comfy. And the rollers are amazing. Whenever I'm bored, I get in them and I can zip all over the shop. It's kind of fun. I do get into trouble that way. Um, but otherwise, I think, uh, you know, we're kind of hanging in there been a little crazy full moon coming up i think we all are feeling it i do hope all of you have a great fourth of july um i know melissa claire and ann and i all wish you well for the weekend we all hope everybody stays safe if you can avoid shooting off fire rock rockets or fireworks i would truly appreciate it not just because of the dogs who don't like it but i just worry that we're going to set everything on fire that's all we need we had a pandemic and now we should have fires no no fires no fires um but Otherwise, we have lots of cool stuff in the shop. I do have a bunch of jewelry that's coming out. Um, so we're gonna try and host all that on the Friday video. Friday videos are at 12.15 during your lunch. Live at lunch, you can take a peek. And if you see anything on the video or you see anything online and you're just um, wondering what it's like, you can always call us and ask us to put it on hold. If you have questions, email me, Kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at yourothercloset.com. If you have any other questions, if you just want to find out what's going on, you can give us a call, 355-5979. We are closed this coming Saturday. Um, and we start calling people with their reservations on Monday. So 
and my husband wandered off to some very far corner of the shop. I had no idea where he went. Um, anyway, great uh, pieces that we put out tonight. All of them will be on the website. And um, this dinette that I'm sitting at is still on sale. And she told us to make a deal so we could sell it. It does have this lovely leaf that's put in it. And six chairs, all in great shape. So, anybody got other questions? No, nope. just said uh, better get that table before it's gone. That's Melissa. Yep, and jewelry pieces. Oh, nice, can't wait. Mm. No boring words. Okay, <coughs> I can't think of anything else, guys. Brian and I are going to go eat some dinner. I hope you all stay nice and cool. Try not to kill yourself oh, with this heat. The sun dropped. The sun finally dropped, so the shop's cooling off just a tad. I hope you all take care over the weekend. And if you can come shopping with us, we truly would appreciate it because we really want to try and get past all the closures. And the bookstore is open. We know the bookstore are hours now. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Half day. So check them out too. Thanks to everybody. I appreciate it. Have a good evening. Bye.